back in 2010, Eric Legrand's dream of playing in the NFL was taken away from him. But through his recovery, he's been touched by the untold stories of the people he met along the way, and now he's sharing those stories through a new series on FoxSports.com and Fox Sports Go. Check it out at FoxSports.com slash Mission Possible. And we are joined now on the football field by Eric Legrand. Thanks for joining us, Eric. And one of the things that's always been impressive about you is you've always kept a positive attitude. Now you've got the series Mission Possible. What is the mission behind that? Well, it all started by this kid named Mike Luciano. I was having an event for my foundation, Team Legrand and the Christopher and Dana Reed Foundation. And I was approached by him telling me how he worked with Greg Hanna and the Mission Possible group of coach, pretty much explaining how they got to do a documentary on his story. And they wanted to get me involved with it by uncovering other people's stories that are going through some type of adversity. And they wanted me to be the host of it. I'm like, you know what? Using my platform, this is something I really want to do and get into and help other people share their stories as they go through life in the face of adversity, as I live my life, too, every day in the face of adversity. Yeah, I, I think people are going to be inspired. This is, this, this is something everyone's going to want to watch. I, I think people are going to be touched, moved, inspired by this. Part of your journey took you up to Boston, mm -hmm. my hometown. You're a Jersey guy. We talked about that before. Right. Bill Belichick likes the Rutgers guys, but you got to meet Tom Brady. It was awesome meeting Tom, you know, seeing him in person and just everything he's been able to do over his career is truly inspiring, you know, just as a football player watching him. And then get to see all my old teammates up there. I believe we had six guys on that roster, so that's Rutgers North right there. I think we got a video here. How's everything? Everyone says the, the best things about you, and obviously, <laughs> we got half a Rutgers team on this team, so it's actually nice to have you. Here. We represent, man. I go, man, with all these great players, how do you guys not go undefeated? I always say, if I never got hurt, I'll be right here with y'all, man. <laughs> You're here with us anyway. You know, you would have been with the Giants. I, I, I would have put in the word for you. We would have kept you in Jersey. That's what we would have kept you. But you're, you're so inspiring to so many, so many people. And I'm wondering, who inspires you? You know, of course, one, one person in my world, my mom, and she's dropped everything and does so much for me. You know, I can't thank her enough for what she does. The unconditional, unconditional love between, you know, my mom and son, you know, it's, it's just I'm truly inspiring. I want to get better for her so she can go back to living the life that she wants to live. But also these character pieces that I've gotten mm -hmm. to meet over over this journey. It's been incredible just hearing all these different stories. You know, I look at my play, I ran down the field and I made a tackle. And I, you know, I, unfortunately I fractured my neck, but just hearing some of these other people's journeys, you know, staying, staying out stuck in a car for 10, 11 days, and getting frostbite, you know, being born with one arm and having to go through life like that, you know, it's just, it's really inspiring and really makes you put things into perspective that life isn't so bad, you know, you just gotta, something that you want in your, in your life, then you work your butt off to get it. You don't complain about the little things. Yeah, you, Absolutely. There's been a lot of people obviously who've gone through you know, life altering adversity. What was the moment that got you to realize, I've gotta do something, I've gotta use this platform? You know, when I, was, when I started going to therapy, you know, five days a week up in Chester, West Niles, New Jersey, I was realizing, you know, the platform that I had and the things I was getting to do, being the people I was getting to meet, but then I would see some of the other patients in there. I'm like, these people, you know, they just come to therapy and they go home and they don't really get to do anything else. And I got to get to realize that there's just so much more bigger to the world of disabilities and helping other people out, not staying in their house and getting them to do cool, amazing things and have great experiences. And I said, I want to share that with the world and, you know, bring, using my platform that I have with all the people I've gotten to meet. And we've been able to come up with this concept, Mission Possible, and this, it's going to really take off, and I really believe people are going to enjoy it. I think people will, and people will be inspired by it for sure. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank yeah, you guys for having me. Good thank luck to it. Guys. Mission Possible on FoxSports.com. Make sure you check it out.